Jehovah's God, Yeshua's Lord. Thank the Father through His Son for His Holy Spirit, always. Heed how the tear and the wheat will be separated. How the tear and the wheat will be distinguished. Who is who? Though many, or I'm sorry, though all, both wheat and tear, profess Jesus Christ as Lord, but the actions speak louder than the professing. Heed. In Matthew seven twenty one to 27, this is what Jesus says. Whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, Listen to that. See, that already put, they already separate people. Okay, so you get the uh, uh, the wheat, which is the true body, and then you get the the tear, which is the false church. But they, they live in a, a delusion. Oh, I'm right with God. No, you ain't right with God. Listen to what Christ said. He said, whoever hears, these sayings of mine and does them. This is meaning whoever hears my commandments and obeys them. Do you obey him? I said, well, have, have. No, you have to listen to this. I'm going to go even deeper in scriptures. Because the thing is, in these last days, there are those who take Christ serious. And they're looked down at by those who do not take him serious. But then at the end, when everyone is tested in this world, the ones who did not take Christ serious will have a great fall. Will have a great fall, and they will not truly be right with him. First of all, mentally, they were never truly right with him because they never made a decision, decision to practice their faith, live by their quote-unquote Christianity faith. As the Lord says uh, further up in the scripture, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, cast out demons in your name, and done wonderful works in your name? And I will declare to, unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. It continues, therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, you must do them, my brothers and sisters. You must obey, my brothers and sisters. You must receive his Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters. The Lord says, for those who actually do them, he himself, he says, I will liken him to a wise person. So Jesus says, not only did you hear my teachings and my commandments and what you need to do to get right with me, but you did them. You made a decision and you did it. You repented. You received my Holy Spirit. You continued to walk in righteousness. You strove for righteousness, humility, meekness. Uh, 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 lovers of God Jesus said you're wise You're smart He says I will see you as someone Who built a house Okay he, This is what he's saying to those who actually Obey him He says I will see you as someone Who built a house On a rock and the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. And it did not fall, for it was founded on that rock. This is one who hears the words of God, and he actually do them. So when they hear the words of God, they actually do them and put them into and put His words to practice. Year by year, they become stronger, having received the Holy Spirit. And then testing comes. This rain that descends is 
trouble, tribulation, the the torrent, the torrent of torment. This is the spiritual battle that we're going through. Yet this house or this person still endures. And it says the flood came. This flood is the deception that's going on around in this world that goes against God's will. But the person who had actually built his house on the rock, which is Jesus Christ, they still stand. They do not believe in this deception because they hold on to the truth of Jesus Christ and they follow after him. They actually live their faith. Then he says, and the wind blew, and the wind blew, and beat on that house, and it did not fall. The winds are people going against you because you hold on to truth. You hold on to righteousness. You endured. You overcame their deception. You overcame tribulation. You overcame persecution. You still held on to the Lord. Keep that. The Lord is separating the true. This is the wheat. The body of Christ, the gates of hell, which I described, which is the rain, the floods, and the wind, the gates of hell will not prevail. This house did not crumble because there was a foundation, which is Christ. Christ said, listen to me. Follow me. You can accomplish anything through me. But then the Lord speaks about one who professes to be a Christian, goes to church every Sunday, every Wednesday. They even own the Bible, but live like the world and half like a believer. Christ said to himself, but, but everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man. It's basically saying you're stupid. There's something wrong with you. Why would you think that mentally holding on to him, yet do, yet do not live according to how he said you should live? Who said you was going to enter the kingdom? As the Lord said earlier in this scripture, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me, Lord, but I've done this, but I've done that, but I've done this. He will say, depart from me, I never knew you. Foolish person is one who hears God's commandments and does not follow through, but seeks to do their own will, twisting it and saying that I'm still right with God, I'm still going to heaven. No, you know what the Lord says? You're foolish. You're not entering. Not everyone who calls me Lord. You called me Lord, but you did not obey me. You did not submit. You did not receive the Holy Spirit. I don't know you. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know you, ma'am. He says, for this person built his house on sand. This sand is not Christ. Christ is a rock. But this sand is not him because you refuse to obey and it says, and the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was this fall. My brothers and sisters understand in these last days, greater persecution shall indeed rise and increase. Many false prophets have risen, building People who profess Christianity a flimsy wall, dubbing it with dubbing it up with falsehood. And these are the prime example of prosperity churches. Prosperity churches and these false doctrine churches are those that are built are the houses that are built on sin. But you get the sound doctrine church, which I can look back and say these are the early churches that went through the greatest tribulation and mortism. They overcame because their foundation was built on the rock. 
It wasn't playing when it came to serving Christ. They heard the truth and they were only. The gates of hell did not prevail against the early church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against the wheat of the body. In these last days you shall see them. You shall see them coming up like caterpillars come up from the grass, climbing up on the tree. My brothers and sisters in Christ. They also dream that a brother, an elderly brother in Christ had. He was about in his 80s. And I'm thinking about this dream because it reminded me of the scripture that we just went over. And the Lord showed him the persecution in these last days that the true body and also the false will go through. And the false will fall down greatly because they themselves subject themselves to deception and worldly things. In this dream, there was a woman, that, there was a little girl that came up to the man and she was speaking about the true body and the false. She said, she described them plainly. She said, one was like a horse, ready for battle. And this one that was ready for battle is the true body of Christ in these last days who have built their house on a rock. Okay? And then she said, she continued and said, the other was like a blinded mouse. This blinded mouse is the prosperity church, the church that seeks to do their own will. Seeks to only hear the word of God, but not, but not uh, practice it fully. This church is the church that is built on sand. So these Joe Osteens, these Creflo Dollars, all these false churches, my brothers and sisters, and the great tribute, the great persecution that is to come in America and also Canada, these will fall, and great will be their fall. They don't seek warning. They don't want anyone to correct them. So with that, the Lord has given them over to their prosperity and illusion. But persecution shall come to America when many, the true and the false, will be beheaded. The true and the false will be killed. But as it says in scripture, as it says in this uh, mainstream, one was like a horse ready for battle. The believers, we already know what's coming. I know persecution is coming. Already ready for it. But then you get the other one that's blind. They don't even see persecution coming. False prophets has come to them and said, I received a vision from the Lord for you. 2016 will be a prosperous year for you. You will have that house that you wanted, that job that you wanted. But they didn't tell them that persecution was coming to test them. They were blinded. As the Lord says, foolish, house built, house built on sand. Not everyone who comes to me saying, Lord, Lord, the Lord will say, I do not know you. Where do you come from? Depart from me, lawless one. Not everyone will enter the kingdom of heaven. He, continuing in his dream, he said he's seen uh, three white candles and a black half candle. These white candles represented the true body, purity and holiness. Okay? And this black candle represented the dead church, the prosperity church, the delusional church, the church that uh, uh, steered away from sound doctrine but gave heed to falsehood, seducing spirits, doctrines taught by devils. Black church, dead, worldly. He said in his dream, he seen the woman light up both the white candle and the black candle. This lighting up both the white candle and the black candle, it's testing time. Testing time. This is when you hear in scripture, what I just went over with you, Matthew 7, 21, 27. When she lit the black, when she lit, when she lit up the white candle and the black candle, this is what it says in Scripture when it says, rain descended, the floods came, winds blew and beat on the house. And with it beating on the, uh, the uh, foolish one who built his house on sand, the woman in this dream, she screamed and cried so loud that the whole church in sync 
felt her hurt. She was hurting, not for the true body, which is the white candle. She was hurting for the black candle because the black candle fell for deceiving spirits, doctrine taught by devils, people building them a flimsy wall, dubbing up their falsehood. Look at the Catholic Church. Imagine the Catholic Church that do not truly know God and then testing comes. Rain descends, the flood comes, wind comes, and beat down on that house. Because the thing is, their rock is not set on the true Messiah. They believe a false Messiah. So therefore, their house is built on sand. This woman, in his dream, she screamed as if somebody was being murdered. She cried so loud because of this black church. Well, America shall will. Well, Canada shall will. There shall be distress through this great persecution, through this martyrdom, that both the uh, the dead church, prosperity, false doctrine, false Jesus, false uh, truths, false dubbed wall, flimsy wall, will be tested. The Lord says, we're not going to wait anymore. They heard the gospel. Now it's time to be tested. This is the outcome. The Lord says, great will be that fall. Great will be that fall. He heard the word. Did not put the word to practice. Great will be that fall. This goes for all those who hold on to Christianity, hold on to Jesus Christ, yet you do not walk after the footsteps of Christ because you hold on to much of the things of this world. Where's your relationship with Christ? Where's your treasures with Christ? Heed my brothers and sisters in Christ. The Lord says change your ways and repent. Begin to obey him and not disobey him. The time of testing is coming whether you are ready or not. God has been long-suffering. Christ has been long-suffering, watching you as you indulge in your sins. There will come a time the Lord will say, that's enough. It's testing time. The true body and the false will be judged, and great will be the fall of the black church, which is the black candle. The black candle, which is a professor, the, now I'm not saying it's skin color black, but black meaning dead. The church that is dead. Do not truly have the Holy Spirit, dead. The synagogue of Satan, dead. They shall be tested, and great will be that fall. Y'all take care.